Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things to talk about or topics, um, manifestation, self-love, law of attraction. So yeah, get comfortable. We're going to discuss everything that you guys asked me on Instagram in relation to these topics and we're just going to go through and talk about them. So let's get started. I'm wearing this big jacket right now because I'm freezing. It kind of looks extra, but so comfortable it's like a comforter so before i begin i feel like it'd be better if i kind of give a little background so i started to have a interest in manifestation at a really young age i think i started really educating myself on this topic in probably seventh grade and i'm so thankful because you know it's something that i've used throughout my entire life constantly thus far i feel like if i discovered it at a later age you know i wouldn't so much wouldn't have happened and i'm just like really blessed to have been exposed to it at a young age and that's thanks to my dad he used to make me watch podcasts in like seventh grade and i was like why am i listening to these right now like i want to go do other things why am i listening to a podcast you know when you listen to those things and you have no background on basically what they're talking about it's like why am i listening to this right now like can i leave but <laughs> i'm so thankful because those podcasts really made me think and learn about what they were actually saying. I'm so happy that I did. It's something that I use constantly in my life now and it's something that I carry with me. I believe that every single thing in my life has been manifested and um, same with all of your lives. Everything, the good and the bad, has been manifested. I'm such a believer and we do create our own reality. So it's really interesting to know and acknowledge that you are creating a reality because then you can start really shaping what you want and what you desire in life. So yeah, I believe that everything that has happened in my life now has been manifested. I've always wanted a career in fashion and social media, anything creative really. And you know, it's happening and it's so cool to look back on because I have so many journals of me writing about this, exactly what is going on in my life. When you put in the work and the effort and the thoughts, it's so cool to see everything come to life. Let's get into the questions. Enough about me. I'm so interested to see what you guys said. So the first question is, a nice and healthy routine to do every day that you can suggest? It's a really good question because it varies for everyone, obviously. But um, something that I recommend is finding a time, first finding a time and place for you to think and manifest. Some people, it's the morning. And some people, it's the night. I'm the night type of person. Um, I just feel like, and I feel like a lot of people can relate to this at night, you know, you're alone and you, it's quiet and you can really, really focus. Um, obviously it varies for every single person. So yeah, along with the routine, um, I think it's so important to journal. There's so many exercises, so many ways that people have to manifest certain things that you want. And one that I always have reverted back to and have never let go is journaling. So I separate my journal entries into three sections. Um, life being the first one where I just write down basically anything that's important that's going on in my life or anything that I'd want to remember. And it's so cool to look back on. I have so many journals that I like kind of look back on to see what I was thinking and feeling during that time. The second section is where all the magic happens, which is the manifestation section. I'm basically answering someone else's question right now of how I manifest doing two in one right now. So I write each thing down three times and then I think about that thing three. I'm trying to explain this to you guys without it sounding confusing. So I'm gonna use an example, but I do this with every single one of my manifestations, almost every single night. Um, for example, if say you wanted a certain job, um, you'd write, I have this job. So you're gonna write this down three times I have this job, I received this job three times. My camera died, so if the camera moved, my apologies, but referring back to the job example, think about how good it would feel to have your dream job. Think about how happy you are. Think about what you would do in that moment. Would you call your best friend, your mom, your family? And think about how you would give them the news. It's so important to use emotion as the tool that it is. So the third section is prayer. And obviously that goes differently for what you believe in. But personally, I use it as a place to give gratitude to God for every single thing that he's given me. I think that is so important. Um, honestly, just to have a place to give gratitude and to give thanks. But yeah, 
So the next question is really broad. It says, how to change your life? Well, you know, there's a lot you can do when it comes to that. There's a lot of things that you can do to change your life for the better. You know, all of that starts with habits and routines and kind of getting yourself in the groove of really believing that anything is possible. To change your life, to me, means to reach your goals, whatever goals that you have to reach them. And it's so important to have goals because that is really by achieving those goals is how you can change your life. And it's all about making a plan for how you're gonna work towards that certain thing. Um, for example, with social media for me, it was consistency, it was posting, it was posting what I think people would enjoy, but what also what I enjoy. It was really working towards and not giving up on what you want. And you know, by making a plan, that's how you can change your life for the better and change your life to the route that you want. This person said, how do you overcome insecurities and achieve confidence? Well, obviously everyone has insecurities. They come and they go. No matter how confident you are, they always peek back in. I'm gonna answer the confidence part first. So to me, obviously confidence comes from within. One of the ways that I find confidence personally is in how I dress. I think fashion is so cool because it is so versatile. And people always say fashion is so great because you can express yourself, but it's really, really true. And I feel like as small as something as putting a good outfit on can really give you the confidence that you that you need that you want but it's so important to use fashion as an outlet to really express yourself not follow trends but to put on what you really really feel good in that in itself gives you a spurt of confidence when you walk out the door you know that's something that's going to make you feel good second part how to deal with insecurities i think it's really important to acknowledge as cliche as this sounds is that you are one of one and no one else is like you. And I always think about that, like how cool, how we are curated each so differently. One thing is you don't wanna focus on insecurities that diminish how amazing you actually are. Um, it's so important to give yourself affirmations every single day because these affirmations can turn into a reality of how you feel about yourself. And I have an example, I'm always ready. Um, I have this by my bed and I read it, there's a coffee stain on it, but I read it every single morning when I wake up or whenever I feel like I need to read it. And sometimes, you know, it's really good to write these down, put them on your mirror on a post-it, put them by your bed, and, you know, when you're walking around or when you walk in your room, you can see them and you can read them. Um, I have, I am beautiful, I am healthy, I am strong, I'm happy, I'm successful. And you know, it's like, cringy as these sound to first glance it's like why are you saying that to yourself because when you say it to yourself it reassures yourself it you know reaffirms the beliefs that you actually are these things so obviously the topic of self-love and confidence is really broad but that's kind of my take on it so next time you have the urge to talk down upon yourself or an insecurity that you have try replacing it with something that you are confident in and you know, hopefully that it will build from there. It's definitely a process, it's a journey, it doesn't happen overnight. It's definitely achievable for every single person and every single person deserves self-love and yeah. Question says, how do you go ahead when you feel down? You know, I live by the saying, and I always think about this saying, this quote is, if it's not gonna matter in five years, don't waste five minutes on it. And I do live by that. I think about that quote often, whoever said it or wherever it came from. That quote is so valid because some of the things that make us sad really are not worth it. And we're giving time and energy into something that's really not gonna matter in the future. So yeah, when I have something really small, I always think about that saying because it's valid and it is so true and it gets me out of really small scenarios where I am sad. Okay, so the next question. Well, someone just said gratitude. That is something that I can talk about for so long because giving gratitude is so important. When you give gratitude, good things come into your life. And that I can say so confidently because I've seen it happen. When something really good happens to me, I look up and I'm like, thank you, like, thank you for making this happen. Giving gratitude is so, so, so important. Um, being thankful because the universe will reciprocate the energy and give you even more. Okay, someone said, I see a lot of angel numbers, but not sure what to do with it or apply those messages. 
I view angel numbers as something, I feel like everyone views them differently, you know, everyone's like, oh, I always see this number, like the 333, 222, or just random numbers. It's all about how you take it. So I see a number everywhere, and like, I, I've been through this. I see this number everywhere. I think about angel numbers as someone's watching me, and someone is protecting me and guiding me, and I think it's really cool because I always see this number when I'm feeling eh or like when I'm at my highest sometimes too. It's always at the right time. It's just so weird and I see it in the most random places. When you see a number enough, you're like thinking like, oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? But it's all about how you really take it honestly. Sometimes it's a coincidence, but sometimes I believe it is very, very real. Um, but yeah, I think it's something that's really cool. It's all about how you take it and how you look at it. I look at it as guidance and protection, things like that. So someone said, what are you passionate about? I want to talk about passions and what I am passionate about. So something that I am passionate about is definitely fashion. I feel like since such a young age, I've been so invested in fashion and being creative from trying to make my own clothes to, you know, now what I'm doing now, um, which is really cool. So passion, finding your passion does not come easily. And for some people though, it does. Some people they discover their passion at a young age. I feel like I was one of those people that discovered my passion at a young age. I'm really, really grateful for that. But to those that feel like they can't find one or they don't know, you have to try every single thing possible that somewhat interests you and your passion will find you. It's so easy to be impatient in this matter because you're like, if it's passion, you know, like you have to feel so strong about it, but it's a process. So it's so important to follow your interests because if I didn't pursue my interest in fashion, it probably wouldn't have been a passion right now. I probably wouldn't be lucky enough to be doing what I love on social media and being creative and having that be my job. So that's why if you have a small interest, even something, a hobby that you really love to do, try to pursue it even more to the next level and you'll fall in love with it really like it'll go from an interest to a passion yeah that's what i have to say on that so a lot of these questions are kind of the same questions that i've answered but in different fonts so to end i kind of want to just discuss everything that i've just said so the first takeaway i have from this is to pursue any interest that you have and try to turn it into a passion. I think that is honestly, don't dread that process too. Don't dread it. I know it can feel like, ugh, like this is taking forever, but the process is beautiful and really like enjoy and try to find what you love. The second takeaway I have is if you aren't already manifesting, to manifest and to start. Um, find a routine that works for you. Every single person is different. But once you manifest the first thing that you really were focused on you'll be like wow like how is this even real like what is happening so you know start and don't rush yourself um take time really enjoy what you are writing what you are trying to pursue um work towards what you're trying to pursue as well and yeah that's really all i have for today guys um i really love talking about everything that you guys said you left me such great questions and yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.